Let's get ready to rumble! All right, guys, I am very excited to share this foundation with you, and that's because I've been using it for the last several days, and I've totally fallen in love with it. We are talking about the brand new Almay Best Blend Forever Foundation. Now, this comes in 12 shades. I got the color 130 Neutral, and this is just a fabulous drugstore makeup. Um, you can get it at Ulta, but it's $16.99 there. I picked mine up at Fred Meyers, and I don't remember what my price was on it because I think it was like a buy one, get one half off, so I kind of lost track of that. Um, you can also get it at Target for $12.99, so quite a bit cheaper if you pick it up at the drugstore. It also has an SPF of 40 in it, so let me read all of their claims on this to you. It's a makeup, it's a moisturizer, it's amazing. Almay's Best Blend Forever Makeup not only covers imperfections flawlessly, it also cares for your skin. This light, buildable formula brightens and evens natural skin tone and instantly blends to your perfect shade. So it's buildable coverage with a lightweight, comfortable feel for radiant, luminous skin. Uh, it's got a built-in removable blending sponge, which you can use to buff your skin to a blue a beautiful finish, protects with broad spectrum SPF 40, hydrates skin for up to eight hours and is formulated with hyaluronic acid, a super hydrator which infuses skin with moisture, it perfects and corrects, it's hyperallergenic, dermatologist tested, fragrance free, oil free, and again available in 12 shades. So let me show you how this little applicator works. Um, if you remove the tube, you'll see it's got a built-in sponge applicator, and if you squeeze it, the product comes right out the tube. So that's one way. I don't care for the sponge, but I will give it a try on my face just to show you how it works. The other thing you can do is simply twist this cap off, and then you've got a little squeeze tube for that. So let's do as I always do. We're going to start out by getting my hair out of my face. And I have again already gone in and primed and color corrected under my eyes. So I normally do half of my face with a sponge and the other side with a brush. I'm going to start out using this sponge just to kind of show you what it's like. So the product again comes out right from that little hole. And you're just supposed to be able to dab it on your skin What I do like is in the cap, it's kind of hard to see, mine's dirty, there's a little plastic part that goes back inside that hole to keep it from clogging up. And so I'm just going to go in now and start blending. I tried to wet the sponge, which doesn't work. I just don't feel that it blends out as well as a regular sponge does. So I'm going to stop right there just so you can kind of see what that looks like. It just doesn't blend it in. It kind of leaves it right on top. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit more out and now go in with my L'Oreal sponge. Just tap that in as I normally would. I think I've gotten way too much up here on my forehead. When they say lightweight, they mean it. This is like a moussey consistency. You don't feel like you have anything on your face. And in the past when I've used the mousse type foundations, I feel like I always felt it um, on my skin. And it kind of left an oily feeling behind. But this one doesn't. It does leave a luminous look, as you can see. That's the side without anything. Again, it's buildable. It's not a full coverage foundation. So this time, I'm going to just go ahead and take that whole cap off. 
And I'm going to squeeze them on and use the brush. I'm going to go in with my Artiste brush because this is what I found actually works the best. Oh, yay. I don't think I can ever get through a video without getting the foundation on my hair. You don't have to use an Artiste brush. You can use any type of a brush. Again, this is just, for me, what I have found works the best for my skin. And it provides more coverage this way, which is going to be really, really hard for you guys to see because of the fact it is a lightweight coverage. Um, but let's see what we can do. So this is the brush side. And this is the sponge side. So again, both of them are very luminous. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more um, and build up like I did on the other side. Just in those areas where I need a little more coverage. What I like too is when they say that this is like um, it adapts to your skin color, I really feel like it does that. Because for me, it seems to start out a little yellow on my skin, but then it changes color. It's like magic. Okay, I have a lot of it in my hair. All right, so that is the side with the brush, which is, again, my preferred way. So I don't care for a sponge for once. Um, I do like the brush. I think it gives a lot more... Um, coverage and it goes on a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be back to show you the finished results. So don't go anywhere. All right, I'm going to um, do an update real quick showing you what this looks like using my iPhone because I think I can get a lot more detail. Uh, so this has been setting for several minutes. Again, this is the sponge side and this is the brush side. So let's start with the sponge side and I'm going to get in real close and hopefully show you in a little better detail what's going on with the foundation and onto the forehead and this is the brush side so again not a full coverage you can still see um, some of my um, discoloration veins things like that age spots coming through um, it's very tacky so this is something you would definitely want to powder. So again, you got a luminous finish, but this is going to remain tacky and I would not dare go in with any powder products on top of this, like my um, contouring or blush or anything like that because it just wouldn't stick very good. And it's also not transfer proof. So I'll definitely let you know that. So anyway, that's an update. I'm doing it close and personal. So hopefully this will look better on the video. All right, here's another quick update for you guys. Um, I have gone ahead and powdered now. So you can see that the luminosity has gone from my skin. But I want to show you a close-up, again, what this looks like without having any other products on other than powder. So you can see how that looks. So this is the side I did with the sponge. And this is the side that I did with the brush. So I have nothing on other than powder on top of this. Oh, and I did put concealer on as well. Um, but hopefully that will give you a good idea of what this is looking like. So now let me go finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, kind of zoomed in a little bit more for you here. Um, but this is the finished look after I have all my makeup on. And I cannot tell you how much I've been enjoying this foundation. It wears beautifully they talk about the eight hour mark and I wear mine a little bit longer than that um, but I really haven't had any problems with it wearing off uh, the only problems I have as always I tend to do this a lot especially when I'm like editing or things like that um, so I do always have a problem with my foundation kind of coming off on my chin and sometimes around my nostrils um, on the other side I haven't had a problem with this at all 
it doesn't settle into the lines or anything. It just, hmm, it feels good. It's no longer tacky now that I've set it with powder. So it's lightweight, it's long wearing. I don't feel like it's suffocating. I feel like my skin can breathe really, really well. And with 12 colors, that's a pretty good shade selection for a drugstore foundation. So I highly recommend this. Um, again, I prefer using it with a brush, but that's me. I don't normally use a brush. I normally use a sponge, so that's kind of weird that um, I'm a little different on this, but this one, go try. So guys, thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got that huge giveaway coming up really, really soon. So um, you wanna make sure you subscribe because I've got several giveaways that I'm doing or several prizes I'm giving away during this giveaway. So subscribe, hit the notification thing. Feel free to follow me on my Facebook page as well as um, Twitter and Instagram as well. So I have all my social media link down below as well for you. So, hey, love you guys. Have a marvelous Christmas. If I don't talk to you before then, and as always, bye-bye.